Jenna Finley. I'm the general manager here at the White Birch Inn. We would love to have you be our guest here in the Northeast Georgia mountains. We have so much to offer as far as our packages and concierge service. So please be our guest. Good morning, Raven County and North Georgia enthusiasts. It's, uh, as one local official said, the park bench guy. I guess I'll take that. I've certainly been called uh, worse. And we're delighted to be here today with Brenda Patterson, who's the owner operator of the White Birch Inn. Thank you for taking a few minutes to talk to us today, Brenda. Sure, absolutely. It's my pleasure. Let's start with the really hard stuff. Where are you located? We are on the square of downtown Clayton on the corner of Savannah Street and Main Street. So it has great proximity to all the shops and restaurants. Our guests can walk everywhere. Yeah, that, that's, that's a big benefit, right, of this location with all the restaurants that you have just here in the downtown Clayton area. Yes. It's a great base of operations, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, just tell us a little bit about your personal story and that of, of the inn? Well, I was a hotel interior designer for 25 years, and my husband was a commercial architect for 25 years. And then we decided to come up here and create an inn. And we fell in love with this building because it had such good bones, and the location was fabulous. So we bought it back in 2012, and spent a year renovating the first floor and opened it as a bar and restaurant and then spent another year decorating and renovating and gutting the second floor and that became the inn. A couple years into it, we closed the restaurant and bar. So now the entire building is our inn. Yeah, um, it looks fantastic. Uh, it's just very warm and inviting. What what kind of decor would you describe this as? I would as? call this mountain chic or casual rustic elegance. Um, yeah. That's kind of what I've heard people call it. And our inspiration was um, when we used to go skiing every year out in Colorado. So we got a lot of these ideas from our ski trips. Um, and you actually have six guest rooms, six is that correct? Six guest rooms and suites. We have two suites. One that has a copper soaking tub, and everybody fights over getting that room. <laughs> and then another suite, which is on the corner. And then four regular guest rooms. And all the rooms either have a queen bed, or two queen beds, or a king bed. Wow. Um, probably as Laura is editing this video, she's going to pause, she's going to jump over, try to make a reservation for yeah. that room with the copper soaking tub. Yeah. And um, speaking of inspiration, each of the uh, suites and rooms are named after a... After an indigenous plant or tree of the area. And we had so much fun deciding what to call the rooms. And it's, it's goofy things like the cedar room, which is facing Screamer Mountain and faces east, you actually, it's in the direction of the giant, beautiful cedar tree that's down on the corner of Savannah and 441 at the Dairy Queen. How about that? <laughs> uh, frankly, it's obvious that you've put that kind of thought in, into everything that, that you've done. And uh, folks, there are plenty of pictures on, on the website. Um, Talk back to uh, accommodations for a minute. Um, in, in addition to, to the rooms, I know you have some packages, various packages that you offer for we folks do, that are visiting. Yep. That you can add on to your room. And we have an adventure package, which you get to take home a picnic basket um, tote. And yeah. it's filled with a to-go lunch that you can go find a, a wonderful place to have a picnic. What? Plenty of options in Raven County. Right, and you get a Wayward Traveler hiking guide, which is like a little magazine, yeah. and you get a bottle of wine, and it's just a fun, uh, you get hiking instructions, and you yeah. just and waterfalls, and then another package is our Surprise Your Partner package, and that comes with 
roses and a bottle of bubbly and chocolate covered strawberries. Wow. And we have an anniversary package which comes from comes with seasonal flowers and a bottle of wine. And then we have a spa rejuvenation package. We have a little room upstairs that is a combination gym and massage room. Wow. So we do massages in house and you can book the spa treatment as a package or just as an extra add on. You can add on a massage. So talking about the, the room rates, um, what does what does that include? Well, in addition to the room itself, the guests get to enjoy a full a la carte breakfast that they can fill out the menu the night before oh. and put it out in the lounge, in the upstairs guest lounge. And then in the morning, you get to pick your time and what you want to eat. And you come down and we have a lovely breakfast room downstairs. And in nice weather, we can have you sit out on our beautiful patio, which has all kinds of pretty blooming bushes all around it and umbrellas. And then uh, from five to six, or I'm sorry, four to five p.m. every day, we have a wine and cheese happy hour for the guests. And that's complimentary as well. And then at the evening before bed, we have turn down service, which during COVID, it's been modified to where nobody actually goes into your room, but you still get the benefits of, we have chocolates on a little china plate and water bottles and a little ice bucket. And we put those out in the lounge for each guest. So that, that, those are the things that are included in yeah. your room rate. That sounds like it's worth the cost yeah. of admission, so to speak, yeah. in and of itself. Yeah. yeah. Um, can we talk about provisions just for a minute? Because yeah. maybe people don't realize what provisions is and yes. it's part of your operation. So if you could just tell us a little bit about that. Yes, that is our sister business and it's four doors down and it's called White Birch Provisions and it is a coffee house and gourmet shop and bakery. And we have an in-house baker that makes everything from scratch every morning. And we researched for a year before it opened. We went around to all the coffee shows and even for instance, we went to Athens, Georgia and went to a oil, like olive oil place where we wanted to pick all our different bottled oils to sell. We have a little room called the farm that sells regional products like honey and jellies and cute kitchen products like uh, mugs and kitchen towels with fun sayings on them. And we have another room in there that we call the wine cave. And it's, it's a custom designed room and we sell wines. We even sell local wines, but also other wines and we sell cigars in there as well. So it's- I can neither confirm nor deny that I noticed that you have some very nice cigars in yeah, your, in your thank collection. You. <laughs> thank yeah, you. that's great. Um, now, in addition to all there is to enjoy here, so today, you know, kind of rainy weather and sometimes it's a little too cold for people to get out and about. So it's a great place if you have to be, quote unquote, trapped, to be trapped here and in the downtown areas you talked about. But in addition to that, you put a lot of work into helping people understand what the different things are to do in, in the county and in the region. And you even have some of that, you know, on your website. Yes, and we also have books throughout the inn. There's one on Foxfire, which is great local history. And we have another book on Lake Raven. And we have a cookbook upstairs that has some mountain recipes. We always keep a newspaper up there. And we also have um, a book that shows menus from the local restaurants. So oh. that helps people understand where we should make them a dinner reservation. But we also have guides, hiking guides and waterfall guides of all the different areas. And there's Lake Burton, there's Lake Raven, lots to do. Lots to do, absolutely. Um, last question, the, the future. Obviously a lot of businesses 
the combination of kind of COVID and what it's meant and mitigation. And then the just being sort of the slower season. By the way, folks, I'll address another misnomer in a minute, but if you've heard that Raven County is not, or North Georgia is not a good place to visit in the winter, you have been told wrong. Oh, we are just as full all winter as we are in the summer. It is, it is not slow. Years ago, seven years ago, when we opened the inn, we would usually close down for two to three weeks to do deep clean. We still close a week to do deep cleaning, which is very important. But we used to close two to three weeks because it was slow. But now Clayton is the place to be. And there's so many new fun places with restaurants and shops and things to do that it's just as crowded in the winter time as it is the rest of the year. Um, I don't see any slowdown at all. Yeah. You know, what we like about the winter time are the views when, when all the deciduous uh, trees have lost their leaves, yeah. it opens up views yeah. that you don't get other times of the year. And I wasn't gonna mention this, but uh, Scott Foss and I are planning a little surprise for everyone, and that's we're planning to do an aerial tour of Raven County. Oh, fun. And uh, that'll be nice, so you'll be able to see when, again, the leaves are off the trees, some of that sort of stuff. But right. anyway, good, good to know that you're staying uh, busy. busy year round. What else is out there in the future that uh, folks might expect or uh, any surprises that you have out there in terms of future plans for the, for the end? Well, we're going to be getting a new website. We're going to be getting new photographs. Um, the photographer had to postpone his photo shoot several times for several reasons. So now because of COVID, we are going to be getting all new pictures on our website in the spring and uh, we also just got some can custom-made candles we're going to be selling for the guests. Do you want me to go get one? or do you? Sure. We had these custom-made, and they come in three flavors or scents. We have a, a berry scent and a verbena scent and a woodsy scent, and we're going to be selling them to our guests. And the first day we put them out, we sold four. So we're really excited about <laughs> that because they say the white birch in and it has our website on it. And it's so cute. <laughs> on the back, we got to pick the color of stitching. So we picked the red. That's sort of our theme color. And this is leather. And um, so we're excited about that. That's yeah. our latest um, excitement. The latest thing. Yeah. That, that's really cool. Brenda, thank you for taking time oh, to welcome. sit down with us today. I, I know you're always busy, but we appreciate you taking yes, a few minutes. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, folks, another thing you may have heard is uh, that Raven County's closed. Well, if somebody told you that, they're, they're uh, either uninformed or not being honest <laughs> because Raven County uh, is open for business and uh, we have a lot of unofficial welcome centers and places of hospitality and this certainly being one of them and thank you for all you do for for the community for that and this is a place you've probably heard about the farm to table restaurants and the wines that we have in this region certainly great uh, to feed the, the stomach and and to um, satisfy the palate but we've got great places like the white birch inn that, that feed the soul and feed the heart so if you're uh, if you've not been up to Clayton, if you haven't been to the White Birch Inn, uh, come. We want you, and we definitely need you. So visit soon. And to all the folks in Raven County, I would just remind you, there is no policy that precludes someone from Raven County from coming and spending a few nights here, right? Oh no, we get a lot of locals. <laughs> we do for a special birthday overnight or anniversary or honeymoon. Yeah, we, we get locals that just want to get away for a night. It's called a staycation. Staycation, there you go. So yeah. you've heard eat local. Yeah. We'll start Sleep. stay, stay local, yeah. Yeah. Sleep local. See you next time, Raven County. Bye.